Five eight five, we put on for the city. We want rumble, who with me? Nothing but hard hustle, grinding, we gritty. Summertime, no, it's bound to get litty. So we put on for the city. Five eight five, I just hope that they hear me. Yeah, keeping it G, keeping it G. Always with my nigga KC. Yeah, keeping it G, keeping it G, keeping it G. We put on for the city. You are now tuned in to keeping it G with KC. You know I keep my boy Lake with me. We're good, y'all. Ball out, stay behind the camera. And today we got two special guests. I'm gonna start it off with my boy Coco. Introduce yourself, bro. My name Coco from the Five. Russian New York man. Go tap in with me. One of our local mm -hmm. artists has been doing this thing in the towns for a minute. He's still young, so you got him way more to come. The boy, seventeen years old. Seventeen years old, and he putting on, bro. He doing, he doing this thing in the industry with his rap shit, and he got the whole world and Rochester tapped in. And today we also got a little cause with me, bro. Shout out your shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that was going on with me, man. <laughs> High fuck, man. Frank T.I., <laughs> man. I'm all hate it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm all hate it. He here or whatever. But today we about to play our song of the week. I told y'all me and Lee going to do one song every week that we post. We're going to rock it with every video that we drop this week coming up. So stay yep. tuned. It's one by your boy Coco. Tell him what the song called, bro. Let him know. Uh, this Reasons Why. Mm -hmm. I just dropped it about two weeks ago. On all platforms. Keep tapping in. Shout that shit out again, man. What's that shit called for again? Reasons why, man. All platforms. Keep tapping in. The video crazy, too. Y'all better go tune in on YouTube, bro. You going stupid. Shot by Wall Studios. Talk to him. All right, so now we're about to dive into the interview part, man. We ain't doing interviewing. Man, it's been a cool little minute, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. You just sparked it off good. I ain't gonna lie. We've been we've been thinking about like how we wanted who yeah. we wanted to start this shit back up again, but it's fire, bro. Well, why you call this shit reasons why, bro? Reasons why because in the song I say I got a reason why I can't die, but don't got a reason why I lie. I don't know. I lie a lot, and I just don't <laughs> got a reason for it. But mm -hmm. I got reasons why I can't die because I got a got a mama and stuff. You Word. Know? Got I call it fire. Sure, that's what I live for. Yeah, sure. Like I told you before off camera, but me and Leek been been heard your music. I played a couple of songs that we yeah, heard yeah. about you already, but best show this shit like six months ago, bro. I'm like, yeah, little bro, nice, bro. The one with the golf course and shit. Yeah, the one with the golf course. That shit was that's put it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that shit was tough, yeah, yeah. bro. I was fucking with that, yeah. so I'm telling him like, yeah, this one got potential. You're like, yeah, you only like six ten. I said, no yeah, we said, like, what the fuck? Six ten. I'm like, this nigga look like he played D D line or some shit. For I do it. I do it. I ain't gonna lie. So that's crazy. You already seventeen, bro. Me looking at that back when I was seventeen, I I wasn't doing none of this shit. I thought right. I was going to the NFL, bro. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You couldn't bro? tell niggas nothing. You couldn't tell me shit, bro, bro. 
I say that to tell you this, bro. You got nothing but time, bro. For you sure. on the right path, bro. Your numbers, you doing numbers at this age, bro. Numbers that I ain't even doing on my videos yet. And I don't even been doing this shit for a year, but yeah. you know what I'm saying, bro. You took initiative and you did it with a lot of people in your, in your age group ain't really doing. You know what I'm saying? You Word. did something that you could really do. It. Word. People just out here doing shit with no reason behind it, bro. This is your reason why. And you taking risks, bro. I ain't gonna lie, especially for a lot of people, even older people, bro. You inspiring somebody, especially for where we come from. You know what I mean? You inspire people to just follow their dreams, take that risk. You know, it, I know this shit ain't easy. Look at it, bro. You know what I'm saying? You put, you probably put, you probably put hours into that just for for a two two and nineteen two minute and nineteen second video. You know what I mean? Like that. That's a lot. You know what I mean? Just for sometimes to maybe not. Like I know you feel like that. That shit should say one million. You know what I mean? Because you put that much pain. <laughs> I in feel that. like every time. Because you know I, I mean? complain to my mother, I'd be like, I drop in a song and I'd be like, man, that's just a waste of a song. And then she'll be like. It's not really a waste of a song because when you get that one song to blow up, Word. it's gonna start going down. Your exactly. Because if you ain't take. know, that's how Roddy Rich blew exactly. up. Exactly. Every season drop, nigga. Exactly, bro. And then it's it's your story too, bro. You know what I'm saying? You getting better each and every time. Like I asked you before this, I said when we was watching the the, the one that you shot the video on the golf course, I was right. like watching back that shit. Like, how did you feel with it being like only like eight months ago or whatever? Yeah. Like you seen how much growth you had. Talk about that. My growth that I could say was. When I first started rapping, I was young, so I was listening to everybody else rap music okay. and trying to go off of it with the killing and stuff, knowing the killing and stuff is not me. You yes. feel me? So if I go listen to the music that I make recently and dropping it, I would smoke. A, I would talk about like smoking and drinking and money and this and this and love, which I actually like go through. You feel me? Yeah. So my music is more understandable with me and fine with me because right. I could tell that I'm rapping what I when I'm talking about what right. I'm doing. Right, right, so, right. That's fine. And that's why like, I'm slowing down my music and just figuring out myself. Yeah, that was for sure. important. And that's important because once you pour out the true you and the real you, and you still got that crowd behind you, still got your fan base, mm -hmm. I mean, they fuck with you as an artist, not only just mm -hmm. the artist, but individually, because mm -hmm. obviously you're pouring your heart on in these tracks. Yes. So they're hearing who you are. They're getting a taste of who you are. They're not just looking at you as an image and be like, well, you're just a rapper. Mm -hmm. Now they get to know you, and some people really feel your music. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm sure most of your fan base, if not all, be like, nah, I feel that shit. I fuck yeah. with this music because you talk about something I, I can relate to. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So just always be authentic and keep it natural, bro. That shit gonna work, bro, because the shit hit. Yeah, you, know you never know who watching you, bro. Work, yeah. you like your mama said, bro, just take that one video, uh -huh. bro. Because it really happened with me and Leek, bro. We was doing interviews on the bass. We wasn't doing no reactions and no music, no nothing. We was just sticking yeah. with our interviews. And it was doing a couple numbers, you know what I mean? But yeah. I'm like, the content that me and Leek putting out, and, and, and I feel like the shit that we was talking about deserved more numbers. Like you said, this is yeah. a waste of a video, a waste of some money, but it wasn't because it was a stepping stone that I needed to figure right. out what we was learning. next. You know what I'm saying? I went through too many different steps. I had mm -hmm. one cameraman, and I switched it up and met Best. And as soon as I met Best, I felt like he came, he was that extra addition that me and Leek needed. Because mm -hmm. we didn't know as much about this camera shit and YouTube and shit like he did, because he already been through that shit. So mm -hmm. I had him to the team and helped us go up. And then he just randomly one day was like, Yo, y'all should just try to react to some uh, this UK shit real quick. See, see if y'all fuck with it. Word. We reacting to it. Nigga said some ass shit, bro. Something about a string, string cheese or a bar, some shit like that. Me and yeah. niggas not jacking. Oh, he said something like pulling apart like string cheese. Yo, bro, they, the UK, it was fire, though. The, the UK crowd was so <laughs> mad at us, but it was wild. They was talking to us. Crazy <laughs> in the comments, bro. Yeah, talking to us. Crazy, crazy, right? So we doubled back and did another one. It was a top 10 video. Yeah. And we was fucking with a couple of them. After that, but the subscribe, the subscription started going up. We got monetized. Everybody hitting us in our DMs. I could show you a list of people from London that just be remember, like telling us to react to this song, react to that song. Or we fucking with y'all just or just a shout out and show love, bro. Like mm -hmm. it was that one video, bro. It took that one video to get us where we at today, bro. Mm -hmm. So appreciate it best bro. always, bro. Cause that nigga put us on. But right. what made you want to start rapping? What made me see? What really made me start rapping is my favorite rapper was Lil Wayne when I was a kid, and okay. my dad bought a documentary for Sean Reason. I was always in the music because I grew up in a church. My mother was the choir leader. Oh, okay, that's right. My granddad used to always sing. Still to the day, I go to church every day. I mean, every Sunday. Mm -hmm. But I was always I'm surrounded by music. So, so you know, right now, me, I'm not. I'm not gonna say I'm not Christian and all right, cause mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. Like, I don't know, like, trying to figure my way, cause I got so many connections to like so many other different religions that you see so many people be believe in so many other gods and stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't know which one is real. Mm -hmm. So me doing music, I couldn't do Christian music cause I'm, I wasn't in it, cause I don't know if I'm. Well, but I what's, 
I understand. What, I, I know exactly what you mean. It's tough because yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like like growing up in the church, it, it's it's always like you feel like you're being condemned a lot. You know what I mean? It just I, I'm I'm gonna just tell you this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm right there with you. I right. said I believe in Christ too. He my Lord and Savior. All you got to do is just build your relationship with him. You know what I'm saying? It's about the relationship more than anything. Right. And then you just go from there. Because you got a talent. You got a gift. He gave you that, bro. Each and every one of us in here got a gift. Something with something. You know what I mean? And you just got to hone in on that, bro. And just keep letting that guide you. You, you, you yeah. can't man, You can't really mess up. All you got is today. Yeah. You just and keep you trying to be better. You still got time to learn. Like, you still got time to grow. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, you young, bro. You still got time to bro. Got the whole world, world right in front of you. You in a position right now where you like, Everything in front of you, you feel mm -hmm. me? Before it's too late, you feel me? You're only 17. Like, mm -hmm. you go a long way with this. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, you gotta, you gotta keep him first. Keep him first, bro, and you're gonna, he gonna, he gonna guide the rest of your stuff. Uh, for, for sure, for like sure. Like you said, bro, you do got a gift, bro. But That's a fact. How long you been rapping? Because you're 17 now. Let me hear it. Uh, I started singing rapping series 2018, so I would say four years. Probably about four years. That's when I first had gotten the So, like, 13, 14, you was in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what's up, bro. That's what's up. And you just knew. Yeah, I knew it. You ain't want to do nothing else after that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and Lee already told you who who who, who we like hearing your music as far as artists who you like similar to. So, who is like some of your favorite rappers or artists that you listen to now? Because I'm sure it's not just rap. Rallo, no. okay. And be a young boy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, let me let me let me right. right there. That's it. <laughs> that's right. it. Like I told you. I don't you, know if I'm hitting you the arts though, bro. We on a trip to like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Can I trust yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. No, NBA young boy, bro. You don't. Now you can't just <laughs> play young boy and yeah, rock NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I did bump some little dirt though. That new okay. album is crazy. Right, that's, not your, that's not your beef. Yeah, I was about song. to say. I was about see, to say. See, see, I do be bumping some little. I'm gonna keep it real. Keep it real. I can't Listen, lie. This is called keeping the G with KC, bro. It ain't about what right. you. You, if you ain't in that, we ain't in that either, bro. bro I, I feel like I feel like, bro. Honestly, like this, this how you gotta think about it, bro. If if you was going through some shit, you know what I'm saying? That man not worried about you. That ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. You you got your own lane. You in your own world. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta worry about that shit. So you fucking with Young Boy. You said uh, Rilo, and, and you said you listen to the new Dirk album. Yeah. How you feel about the Dirk album? Personally. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, for sure, for sure. So, like, I'm, I'm glad you said right on, cause the, a couple of your songs, I hear the guitar and the back. This is a sound like some beats that he can go to too. And the way you flow on the beat, I can see why. Mm -hmm. So, do you say like you, do you think you pick like a couple pointers off, of man, when you listen to his music? Most definitely. Okay. For sure. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I'm about to test your Rilo knowledge. Oh, what's <laughs> up? Let me hear your top three Rilo songs right now. My top three. Uh, Goat, I like goat. I like real. What else I like? Set me free, and I like an unreleased Set me song. Free pain. I like the unreleased song, Coding Dreaming. Mm -hmm. Is that the future with no cap? No, no, that ain't oh, okay. So I might nameless, nameless tough too. I might, I might, I might test y'all real quick. We're gonna go a little bit off the interview. I got a real good question because we've been off this shit for like what two, two weeks and two and a half weeks. Week? We ain't been yeah. on it. I'm sorry, y'all, bro. I had to go to Miami. It was a nice little trip. I went live. Y'all seen it. I'm, some of y'all seen it. But uh, we missed it, the topic when it was hot, but I'm going to bring it back up. What's up with that Will Smith thing, man? How y'all feel? How y'all feel? This shit right there, like... That was some sucker shit. I ain't going to lie. Fuck with you. Man. <laughs> that was some sucker Me personally, I mean, I, I mean... I mean, I mean I feel like it ain't had to go that far, you okay. feel me? But it still ain't had to be no no ten years. He had to get banned for ten years, so you feel me? Ten years of drag. That's a drag. That's, That's a, drag. a long time. Just for you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it was a white person song, not to be racist <laughs> on it, but it wouldn't have never been that much of a time, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So for you to put ten years on somebody else to discriminate because they skin color, that's just that's some sucker shit to them. Feel me? me? But if I really think about it, now I'm starting to think about it. If you was in Will Smith shoes, right? Okay. And you got the one girl that really ride for you, right? Okay. The one girl that hold it down. Okay. And a nigga do joke about your bitch in front of you, in front of mad millionaires. Okay. Is you gonna hold your ground or is you slapping the fuck out of that nigga? I'm gonna tell you this right I'm now. I'm doing it later on after the show. I'm telling you this right now. That man is a comedian, bro. Any comedian, like comedy show you go to, 
What you think they start off with doing? They improvise. They go up there and pick people off the crowd. Ask talk them to sit in the front row. Yeah, you gonna get your you ass fired up. You yeah, ask you asking for it. This is if he, he's a comedian, bro. Anything he see up front, he's trying to grab the grab the crowd and make y'all fuck with him more. So anybody he see and he sees a joke while looking at you, he's gonna do it, bro. Yep. You gotta know that, bro. So I would have never taken that that joke personally, bro. Right. I would have never told. Why was folks laughing? Yeah, and, then, and then he was and laughing. And then when she looked at him, like she not she laughing. Walked up now she laughing. Yeah, now you did too much. You did that because your girl looked at you like nigga. You ain't gonna say nothing. Then she told him, "Show me, we gotta defend him after." <laughs> he yeah, went about it all wrong, right. bro. Yeah, I, I wouldn't like do that. And, and if it didn't touch you that bad, I, you could have did this in the crowd. Hit him with one of these. All right, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. And then after the show, backstage, you pull him apart. Like, yo, bro, that little joke. You know what I'm saying, wife, you got a little situation going on. We ain't even, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even have to go there, bro. I promise you, Chris Rock would have apologized and they'd have went on, bro. You know what I'm saying? It didn't have to go there with a slap at all. That's, that's it's not like it's, it's, it's at anybody. Like, this supposed to be your man's. Like, this bro. somebody you grew, y'all your careers. Y'all been peers for a long time in this Hollywood scene. You know what I'm saying? You did that on that stage. That was like the first black Oscars. When yeah. mad black people yeah. was gonna win awards, yeah. mad black producers, like people behind cameras, all types of shit. Yep. And, that, and, and then it's like all the people that was getting recognized that night, that's all they gonna remember, you know what I'm saying? And then it's fucked up because Will Smith been through a lot, bro. Yeah. Like, that nigga been through mad bullshit. You know, and he won an award that night. The crazy thing about it, we're not speaking about, now you see Chris Rock not saying nothing because you know he handled it as a man. But, but he's still he got, being blessed, bro. bro. But he still got people that's really like, yo, you're not about something. Like, Tony Rock is a comedian himself. He, the next day he's talking about anything, he's gonna send my brain get away with it. So now you gotta watch out for it. Them people saying they, they not on the same level as you, but they can find a way to get to you because they also slept with themselves. Yeah, right, and then you better imagine you better live with that for the rest of your life, though. Yeah, nigga, go clown Chris Rock for the rest of your life too. Nigga, you got smack. Nigga, you put now you can't clown him though, bro. You good? How that man? But you know how the internet think. They just gonna clown him. They don't ever think a little man shoot. It's the internet though. But internet's gonna keep your bills paid. Are you see them with what's going on? That's gonna write shit up. That's how nigga. The internet don't fuck with you. The you don't got the internet. You don't got no right. Where's the connection? Streams is where the money at. No, but that's the internet. Yeah, that's the internet. That's where the money at. So and they're not rock with you. They're not watching your movies. <clears throat> oh. So how do you feel about like like since we're on the topic of streams, like how do you feel like your music is doing as far as streams? Do you feel like you at where you wanted to be or? Or are you, you you ten times away from where you wanted to be, or this is exactly I'm saying you feeling your bumps and bruises out. Um, right now at streams at stream wise, like on Apple Music and Spotify, I want my things to be more. Cause yeah. I've been, cause I ain't gonna lie, my first song that I put on like Spotify and Apple Music, I think was probably a year ago, and them the ones that's gonna get you paid. See, YouTube gonna get you. Alright, yeah. but they ain't gonna get you paid like Apple Music and Spotify, but I want it way more though. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, what's your, what's your next plan then? My next plan is summer going, summer's going crazy. I'm mm. going on another run of summer. Right. How many projects you predicted? I think I got eight coming out this summer. Eight? Eight. Flame in the streets, you doing an album, an EP, or just eight singles? Straight singles. I probably now nah, I probably do like six singles and probably like shoot some vids for him too. Mm -hmm. You gonna shoot vids for him too? Yeah. Definitely. I'm gonna do yeah, and I'm probably do like two. Probably got pop out like two EPs. Two EPs. Yeah, but I got I got a feature EP coming out with Prince TJ. I know that's gonna drop in the summer. Okay, okay. So yeah. now that you're talking about collabs, who who would you like to collab with, if you can? Out here. Out here in in global. Oh. Global, Rallo, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Out here, I gotta say, Gumbo and Rich Baby. Okay. Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some big time names in that town, bro. I could fuck with that one, so. Okay. All right. When you make it, bro, like, what's something that you wanna do for your town? Like, give back. Like, what's your way of giving back or like leaving? First thing, I, first thing, the recreation centers. I wanna rebuild. I wanna rebuild all the recreation centers. <coughs> Where what rec, what rec centers you you grew up in? Which ones you went to? I, saw, I like the Carter Street one. Okay. That's to be there a lot okay. outside and inside. All right. What you want to change about it? Hmm. What you want to change about it? Less danger. Okay. I don't really I don't really be over there a lot, but I just like rebuild it just to show I'm Make going nice yeah. in it. Yeah. For sure. All right. So you played any sports and shit in high school and then? Play football. Yeah. I play football on the cross. 
You fuck cross, cross? cross? Oh, yeah, that's your fault. You fire that shit? <laughs> you nice? Yeah, we, yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> Don't touch the field, dog. I ain't gonna cap. Nice, man. Nah, so as far as this music shit, bro, do you want to stay in the towns and try to blow up here? Do you feel like you, you, you got to expand your, your, your knowledge into another state or, or city? Me, personally, my mom always talked about leaving, but I don't want to leave, but I know the best thing for me and the fastest way is to leave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But so, do you have like plans on going to college or after yeah, school? Most definitely, uh, I want to go to college. I, I gotta leave right just to go to college. Okay. What you wanna What you wanna major? You thought about it yet or no? I ain't never thought about it yet. No. Nope. Yeah, I'm just in the back of my mind. I go, but I get a scholarship off of a sport or something. Yeah, I could do it. I could do it. What, what, what position you playing football? Uh, nose guard. Nose guard. Yeah. That's on D line. You gotta be. I know where it's at, Dick. I play more. That's on D line. Alright, yeah. so where do you see your career going in the next two to three years or where do you want it to go? I think my next two or three years and then if I stay on the path I'm going with, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna go bumpy. I should be out of Rochester. Okay. Where would you like to land? Cause I feel like yes now you could go to the A. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I can't say nothing because I ain't never really left Rochester to go to a different place, so I ain't never experienced. You ain't travel? Nah, I ain't never experienced like any other place, so like I don't know where oh, I wanna nah. go. Oh, yeah, nah. You're lucky you at a perfect spot, I ain't yeah, gonna you, lie. You, yeah, that's the best way to go. Visit first. Oh, wow. Visit first. Don't go to the craziest spot though first. Don't go Vegas or like yeah, don't no know crazy that. shit like that first. You, I would say for you, you could go to, you ever been to New York City? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, been there when I was way really younger. Yeah, take another trip to New York City, go to Philly, go to New York, go, go to uh, Buffalo for sure. DC Buffalo tough too. I've never been to DC myself. DC is tough. Um, Charlotte, North Carolina is fire. Anywhere in Florida, you gonna have a good time. Travel, bro. It's important to travel so you can get a little taste of figure out. That's what you're going to do. I'm going to I'm going to show you around for real. Yeah, for real. <clears throat> so. Other than rap, what are you most interested in? Uh, I like to play 2K. Nice. Yeah. What's your system? PS4. Uh, I'm an Xbox, bro. but I got a PlayStation upstairs. But <laughs> play that shit. I'm an Xbox. Bro. Yeah. You one of those guys that can only play 2K on PlayStation? You one of those guys? Well, I can play it on anything. Okay. So I want that nigga best on any system. You can't talk to me about I best. Can. He's a turd. He is a turn. That's what I'm laughing Your best. Shut your face. <laughs> yeah. Shut your face. Special fucking He's I don't terrible. Know that Xbox shit. See, he's one. See, that's why I ask. Cause he's one of those old Xbox. Shit. Matter of fact, I think I still got the screenshot. I took bread out this nigga pocket from two oh, games. He, 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 he know how to play me for bread. He know how to play me for bread, bro. He know what that should be like. But I'm gonna have to see what you like after this interview, though. Let me see if you're nice for real, cause I'm different. Bad, bad, bad. Different. But I ain't played the game in a minute. I ain't played the game. What you, what you like doing in your free time though, bro? Like, what's your hobbies and shit? Other shit that you went to other than like rap? Cause I mean, you can't, I ain't gonna say you can't rap forever, but like, what other, other things that you may be interested in? Fashion, acting, you wanna have your own businesses, like anything like that, bro? I ain't gonna lie. You don't think about that? I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I'm not at the studio, I'm in the house. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the studio every day. Mm. That's how it's supposed to be, bro. I like the hustle, bro. Your mindset is, you're set on what you wanna do. And if you put it your all into it, before I got in the studio every day, I just worked two jobs. And my mom was like, you got to quit one because later on in life, you want to work on what you really want to do. Like, yeah, you're going to have one job. Like, in the summertime, you're going to have one job, right? But then when you get off on that job, the second day is putting money into yourself. So, like, just working two jobs as a young, young kid ain't. Yeah, I feel what you mean. You still got to build on you. Yeah, so, like, I always, every day I go work on myself. For sure. Definitely, like your mother said, bro, invest into you, bro. Because you got to, she see the gift in you already. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's sick. clearly 7,000 motherfuckers do too. So, yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of potential, but I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm hype for you, bro. Or, and you're young, bro. There's people mm -hmm. that don't blow in the industry. Look at 2 Chains, bro. He only started making big money off rap when he was like 35. <laughs> G shit, you're 17, bro. Been to the butcher. Yeah, comedy machine. Yeah, Z and Z start because he was like 26. <laughs> You're 17, you're ahead of the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't gonna do it for a minute, bro. So. But they say a long grind make it long, exactly. last longer. Exactly. And that's why I'm, I can't wait to see what's next for you, bro, because the sky's the limit, bro. 
You got potential. You played yeah, you, five tracks. I fuck him. Canvas in the way, but you can do whatever you want. You got your lane, bro. We was just talking about that shit. We didn't even remember. Bro. I can't really tell you, like, a crazy memory from when I was like 17, bro. That shit is like, it feels so long ago. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, I can. That's when I had my son. <laughs> See, that's that's some crazy shit. Like, it'd probably be, if I really thought about it, like, it'd probably be something, bro. 17 was really mad long ago, bro. 17. Imagine having a kid. 17? Imagine having a kid now. That shit was crazy. Man, that was 11 grade. That was crazy, bro. My only, my only thing is, I don't like to be on. I don't like cameras. No? I, camera shot? Like, I, I'm not camera shot. I just don't feel like when I'm out on a family dinner, I don't like cameras. I don't. I don't know, like, I just don't like camera. That's my only <laughs> mm. thing. Like, now, yeah. when we chill it, I'm cool, because you know, I, I know we doing it for something. Yeah. Like, I, this the point. But yeah. when I'm out with family or about to shop at the mall, like, I don't like people putting a camera on me. That's mm. one thing, because, especially, that's, that could probably be a, a, thing, a negative part to your career, because most rappers or producers or anybody that's big time, they get crazy publicity when they go out. So and that's the that crazy stage, thing, though. And that's the way media work, though, because you might be doing something that Another person may find funny and go viral for me. Yeah. You feel me? The cameras, man, cameras is just what's technology now. You feel me? Right. They go a long way, like. Yeah, my mom be vlogging on YouTube. See, mm -hmm. you gotta be in the camera sometime, bro. But yeah. Yeah. TikTok, you ain't off none of that. Oh yeah, I'm on TikTok. Oh yeah, that's camera too, though. Yeah. You put your, you put some of your music on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah go crazy. You watch that. You feel me? Camera, it's a, it's a. It's a watch thing, it's a media thing. Like, right. People watch TikTok, it's like, mm -hmm. it's sure, a big bro. thing, people go big on it. For sure. So, what's, what's, how y'all feel about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off topic again, bro. How y'all feel about all these trades and shit? Because I'm sure you watch sports and shit, right? Yeah. How y'all feel about all these trades and shit going on in both in, in, in NFL and what the fuck going on in the NFL? First, first what we're talking about, the NFL, I'm gonna come up with KC. I RP to my boy Dwayne Haskins. RP to Dwayne Haskins. Lost, That's we crazy. We lost, a, we lost a real one, bro. That's crazy. One. That one was crazy. That shit hurt. That one was crazy. That. We gotta tune in on that. Yeah, that was crazy. Bro. RP to him, man. God bless him and his family, bro. Yeah. You were saying, like, what all the sports trades? Yeah, so it ain't no point. Buccaneers going to the shoot back to the Super Bowl, bro. Nah. No. Without, no. without no Kansas City, without Tyreek Hill in Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes is not throwing over 2,000 yards. Man, you tripping it, bro. What? Yeah, nah, nah, Who, bro. Hold on, wait. Nah, Who is he going to throw it to? Travis Kelsey, their best weapon. Buccaneers didn't go this Super Bowl. Travis Kelsey was their best because Tyreek Hill was their distraction. They, everybody put their defense around Tyreek Hill. What is Travis Kelsey? True. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody put their defense around. Even the team really worried, what the bro. fuck is Juju Smith Schuster gonna do? That's what the fuck I'm saying. He gonna be. He, gonna he be ain't gonna time. be no goddamn distraction. He, he gonna be the four, He gonna be the fourth yeah. option. He not going right there first. Promise. What you. about Oakland? You seen what, what Oakland got right now? Who? They just got Devontae the Adams, I think, right? Yeah. That's gonna be a tough team. It's nah, that QB, that QB not gonna work. Like Car, yeah, Derek Car Valley. Car Valley. Car Valley. He just got the best receiver in the league. O line ass. Nah, they O line ass. What you mean? Yo, QB ass. Well, it's Derek Car Valley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We Raiders. Got, we got, ass. we got. What you call it from uh, my Miami? What's his name? Parker. Yeah. Devontae Parker. I think it's mm. a receiver nigga. Right? Mm. But y'all, but y'all talking. You, you said. Uh, what was the what, what did you add? What you add? Oh, at the end, what was up with them Lakers not making the playoffs? Mm. Boy, that's ass. No, I think I think they I think the NFL gonna make. <laughs> he put his hand down. We get to talk about the Lakers not making the playoffs. I, don't know, I care about Carmelo. I'm Lakers king. <laughs> that's how I feel. I'm a Brown fan. My son was balling, but Fuck. my favorite I'm team, the Raptors. You KD fan? All the way. KD. He the best. He the best. He's the best small forward. As a matter of fact, no, I put KD in top three. Top three players that ever touched the court. Okay, he's definitely top five in my book. No, he's definitely top. What three are better than him? Nowhere near my top five. Who? KD? Nowhere near my tripping. That ever dribbled the basketball? Top five. Definitely top. Nowhere near my top five. For sure. Top. I'm, no, no, no. Matter of fact, I put top three scorers to ever touch the court. Okay, I like that. I like that. Are you top? Your top three. I like. I like that one. Players, it's a couple. It's a couple. He like maybe in the top ten. He's definitely in the top ten. No, I know you too. He's definitely. Katie's definitely no, in the top ten. All right, but question. Cause this been more definitely is. This has been a debate my debate. whole life. Kobe or Michael Jordan? R.I.P. Kobe. 
I'm taking Jordan. He made Kobe. Kobe marked his, his whole. Kobe. His whole. I'm Kobe. 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 I'm Kobe. Kobe. Taking Jordan. I'm taking Kobe. Kobe, 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 Kobe mocked, dropped every mocked, move. He mocked everything Jordan did. How can you? How can you? Word for him? word, bar for bar. You <laughs> can took every move. Kobe. Kobe. Kobe was. A, Kobe was a better winner, bro. Like Kobe. How? And Kobe. Kobe, Kobe wanted it more. Bro. How? I'm not gonna lie, like, that's just how. Have you not heard of the Have you not heard of the shoe look, look, game, nigga? Look, y'all gotta what? understand. Y'all gotta understand how Mike won, bro. Mike beat Mike beat the uh, the Magic when when and like when they was on their way out. And Mike lost like eight years in a row before he even made it to a finals. You gotta talk about that too. Fuck about winning. Let's bro. talk about. Let's talk about. And he never won without Pippen. Go Kobe, was, Kobe, Kobe had to win by his soul. Come on. Come on, oh, come on. Drag, what you know, what was say, the Chicago on, Bull before on. Michael Jordan? You niggas know basketball for real? It's what was, what was, was the John, Chicago? You don't know basketball. I don't know basketball. Man. Kobe has never, Kobe has never won a championship without somebody being on his side, bro. Boy, Kobe won a championship what are you without him. That's cap, boy. What? He had a. Yes, cap. We ain't Hold on, gonna close So if I go on my phone and look up, we ain't gonna speak on Kobe. Kobe got five rings, bro. What you talking about? Right. And when he was when he was going with it without Shaq, he won three. How many rings, rings did he get without Shaq? Shaq? No, he, he won, won two. two. Yeah, he won two without Shaq. And let's look up his team. Bro, what you mean he was the best player? He was at bro. He, he his team was, was fucking snapping. Kobe that averaged game. thirty six at in the season. You know that? Okay. What was Michael Jordan averaging? Kobe is like that, bro. What was I'm can nigga the answer? Yo, I'm taking Jordan. Jordan was average. What? Okay. And I wasn't even alive to see the whole Jordan era. I'm taking Jordan. Jordan played in a in a, in an era where where you couldn't. Well, nigga, you could get tackled in mid era. No foul would be called. Yeah, nah, no, that's not, that's cap. That's cap. Bad boys was punching niggas in their faces. Yo, I gotta show you a clip of Michael Jordan getting a, a, a foul call like like 30 seconds after the play was over. Niggas was on Mike Dick. I that nigga Mike did whatever he wanted. Uh, fuck, fuck Mike. I ain't gonna say fucking right look. So, who y'all top five? Oh, what, basketball players? Yeah. Y'all said KD. Oh, are we going, are we going off, like, what we think, or just, like, realistic? No, personal. The best. Personal, Carmelo Anthony, number one. That's oh, Joel Embiid, number one. Jo- uh, Joel Embiid, Pascal Siakam. This the fucking top five ever. <laughs> you might as well say Tony Parker, too. <laughs> yeah, Tony Parker. Oh, 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 oh. First off. <laughs> Carmel, my favorite player. Michael Everybody B. else I said is for my country. <laughs> Michael B. He said everybody else is for my country. Everybody else is for my country. Yo, get the fuck out of here, guys. He just said that African nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he just listed five African niggas and Mello. Mello. He listed four African mm. niggas and Mello. Mm. Mm. That's fire. Leave I, 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 so portrait on the free so far the next person. You ask me who my favorite rapper is, I'm gonna tell you somebody that's my man. <laughs> yeah, I'll see Bro, who your top five? Five of all time? LeBron. Oh, my number five was me, myself, and I. Your shit. Yeah, bro. He fucking sucks. LeBron, Kobe, Mike, uh, Kareem, and uh, Shaq. Okay. Who your top five, Coco? Top five ever. Uh, Michael. After Michael, gotta be uh Larry. He made that three point show crazy. After that, gotta be Will Chamberlain. Mm. After that, after that, she. I don't know. I I want to put Tracy McGrady, but okay, I didn't hear that in a minute. These your favorite players or the top five all the time? You said favorite player. That's why oh, I had. Oh, okay, favorite. That's okay. why I said come on, Anthony number one. I said favorite players. Yeah. Question, you don't think Trisha McGrady top five scorers or top three scorers? Top Nobody five. five. <laughs> you top five. Top top three, five? Bro, you know basketball? Bro, bro. I don't know why, bro. You already just said. Here you go, Katie. Listen, Tracy and Coco. James Harden. Cole, you know what that is? Them the back. Kobe, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm talking about wait. I'm talking about scorers. James Harden is a better scorer. Allen Iris is going to be fucking garbage. Kareem Abdul Jabbar got 38K. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, <laughs> but, oh, but you got to keep in mind, who is he going against, bro? Wait, 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 pause, 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 pause. We're not going to do this. Tracy McGrady was injured half his career, bro. If it was for That's injury. That's not nobody else's fault. No. He said. We're talking about what he did. Yo, yo, you asked Kobe hey, and um. Who's the better score, Tracy or Melo? No, this fat Melo like that. Come on. Okay. Pop. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm going to. a better score than Tracy. Nah, but I ain't gonna lie. It's not too far. Tracy McGrady's right there, bro. If it wasn't for injury, Tracy McGrady might be better than Carmelo. 
You can't say that. He was injured and he yeah, didn't do it. stupid. Yeah, he didn't I know. wouldn't even, if Grant Hill never got injured, a lot of niggas would not be talking about Who? right now. Don't respect Grant Hill. <laughs> Sweet. Bro, come on, bro. I'm going to take your basketball card right now. Bro. Wait, you <laughs> Bro, I'm about to take your basketball card right now. Well, tell me who that is. Wait, wait. Now wait, you got to tell me who that say? is. Who? Grant Hill. I'm asking you who? Grant Hill. Grant Hill? I know who Grant Hill is. That's a PG, right? Or no? Uh, Small forward. Uh, I'm asking. Yeah, That's yeah. how you don't even know who. Because he's player. fucking unknown because he's ass. Oh, oh, yeah, you're about to clown you down. Know. He's ass. You're about to tell you who that man really was. He's ass. We're going to see after this. You said Grant Hill is ass. If oh. Derrick Rose never got injured, he'll be. See that? Fucking pes- yeah. He's a better yeah. score, he's a better score than uh, Tracy. No, no, no. I want to score. No. Uh, I'm going to go crazy. crazy, bro. What? Yeah. Say that MVP year, though, D Rose is on some shit. But I want to see. Derrick Rose, no injuries, is right by Tracy. Tracy no, he would have had a championship. Tracy was like, yeah, and so was so was Derrick Rose. <sighs> I know that's a lot of great players. I'm it is a lot of great. I'm gonna players, get at my my favorite five right now. I'm talking. I ain't gonna talk about niggas that that's not in the league no more. I'm talking about niggas that still current. My top five right now. I got Bronny. I got. Whoa. Oh, you said LeBron, like Bronny as LeBron, right? Get the fuck out of here. God, his name is LeBron. Bronny is Bronny James, bro. And they can just. Bro, I got the news. He's a goat. He's a fucking joke. Yeah, he's a clown. Bro. Yeah. LeBron James. Say that. Dickheads that in the background. Because niggas trying to say LeBron Bronny better than NBA. LeBron James Sr. Uh, I'm going to go the Greek Freak. I'm going to go. Joel Embiid. Who else? He's just big as fuck. You're sick, bro. Nah, yo, get a jumper, though. We looking like the girl. Yo, listen, listen, listen. Don't forget about that boy you're feeling. Ooh. We're 21. That's it. He's a lot better yeah, than KB. Fuck that African nigga, man. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're not better than KB. Let's we see. He's not better than KB. Let me give you my five, though. I got Bronny. I got I got the Greek Freak. I got Kyrie Irving. I got... I don't like KB. I ain't gonna lie to you. Man, y'all got my man... Fuck up. Who the hell? Who you think who you take who you think is the top five defenders? In in the league? Healthy? Kawhi Leonard. Drew Drew Holiday like that. You got Jimmy some Butler shit. got some lockdown. Thank you, bro. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler, Butler got some fucking lockdown. I'll take Drew over Jimmy. Hmm? I'll take Drew Holiday over Jimmy Butler. Drew Holiday got He touched tall hair. No, no, you know who else? Who, who, what's that nigga? Anthony Edwards. What's that nigga name? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, from, from. He got some fucking lockdown too. Mm-hmm. Nigga. Oh, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got Larry Hoops a little bit more. I ain't gonna know. <laughs> I'm young. Not I'm young. He young. I'm the hoop. Mm-hmm. I Me mean, neither. I'm a football player. Yeah, that's too. Make That's what I put. Now, we're coming to the end of the episode, Joe. I'll leave this little last couple seconds in the end of this episode for uh, right. those who want to ask the last little questions. If you got questions for us, if anyone of y'all got questions, Leave this area for somebody to ask the last question. Hmm? You ain't hear nothing I just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nothing mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, basically, dude, on the end of this shit, bro, like, just kick it off. Like, you got any questions for us? Or is there anything you want to interact with the fans with? Or anybody else here got questions for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's next? Or if you got something you want to get off your chest and let kind of just end it off with? Or, hmm? What you got to say for the people watching, you know? Yeah, like what they expect. Like, give, them, give them a little yeah, piece of them a little right now. If you, yeah. For the people watching, stop supporting people that don't know you. If your mans or friends is doing something, support them. They're going to be the ones to help you. And do not wait on another man to get you some money. Mm-hmm. Everybody be safe, man. And thank you for supporting. You heard the man, man. We out.